um, hi good people um, if I'm unable to look at the phone directly it's because I'm using my cell phone and because it's a bit dark I have the flash on so it's a bit too bright to look directly um, yeah this I just wanted to have a chat about an issue that I think is very 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 serious and um, this is for the body of Christ so this is especially for my fellow Christians. Um, so I've been, initially I wasn't really invested in the whole gold mafia um, Zimbabwe documentary that talks about gold being smuggled out of Zimbabwe until I saw someone's post saying, um, in a nutshell, you know, that God be with Zimbabwe. And then I was like, okay, I could tell that it's related to the documentary and the things that have been exposed. So I watched part one and I watched part two thinking everything is done. A part three is coming out. For me, the thing that's painful is that in the documentary, a prophet of God is exposed and also a man who calls himself a pastor the the man who looks like he's from indian origin um can't remember his name um the prophet in the documentary is not a prophet that personally i follow not because i felt or believed that he wasn't genuine but you know just because someone may be a genuine servant of god maybe they're not for you if that makes sense you know what's painful is i'm putting myself in the shoes of a church member who has been part of that church for many years and was told sow a seed into the church for god's purposes and now they're probably wondering where did my money go who was really speaking did that money go into the pockets of the servant or did this money really go to further the cause of God? You know, thinking about this, there's a scripture in Romans that says, because of you, meaning people of God, because of you, the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles. As in, because of you, people who claim to know God or are supposed to know God, because of you, your actions and stuff, people blaspheme the name of God. So how many people now are saying, aha, we told you, you claim to love God and stuff, but look at what your prophets are doing. They have been stealing from the nation, from the people. You know, I think the truth is we have really lost the fear of the God, the fear of the Lord is no longer among us. Like we're so used to talking about judgment, the judgment of God to the degree that it's just hearsay, you know, it's just something we talk about so that we can change our ways. But the true fear of the Lord, I don't think we really have it in this generation. Reverencing God, the authentic genuine fear of God because of who he is and I think this stems from the fact that a lot of our preaching and teaching nowadays is about grace God is God he wants to bless you and stuff and we never talk about the other side that's a reality because you cannot take Christianity in half or in part and say I believe God is God I mean he always is God but his goodness doesn't mean he can be undermined as God such that we forget that there is also another side um, which says the wages of sin are death and death means eternal separation from God death doesn't mean you die the way we think of death because everyone's gonna die death means eternal separation from God and if you're not with him there's a place for that for things that have nothing to do with God which is hell and we never talk about that side. So 
it's very painful and i i think at an individual level um let's never forsake the fear of the lord let's if you have it hold on to it because once you get used to god once you start moving in the gifts of the spirit and because you're a servant you're a prophet people revere you reverence you you start feeling like yeah you know i can get away with it people fear me because i'm a prophet i'm already moving in this gifts of the spirit so that shows or means that all is good all is well but we forget that the gifts are without repentance you don't move in the gifts of the holy spirit because you're a good person you move in the gifts because it's a gift so it's not about your works you can fornicate be adulterous do evil things and the gifts of the holy spirit will still operate because the word says they are without repentance that's why the word says a time will come when men will say but we casted out demons in your name and he says i never knew you because we will see the gifts at work and think all is well all is good the gifts of god are still operating in me if i was a bad person and he wasn't happy with me he would take away the gifts but they're still in operation so he's god with me only to have a rude awakening at a time of no return where you can't undo so anyway body of christ um yeah let's not forsake the fear of the lord yeah that's all i'm getting from this documentary fear god and don't forget again it's my perception i think he's a genuine servant and he got compromised <laughs>